Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create an API to sign up the user. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create a new package that is a DTO. Inside the DTO package, I'm going to create here the new class that is a sign up request. On the top, I'm going to add here the annotation that is a add the rate data. And here I'm going to add the properties that we need to get from the request payload while the sign up user. So first we have name. Second we have email. And the last we have password. After the sign up request, I'm going to create here the new class that is a user DTO. On the top, I'm going to add here the notation that is a add the rate data, private long ID. Let me copy these properties. Let me paste after the ID. Let's go to the auth service and here I'm going to create a method that is a sign up user. In the argument, it will receive an object of the sign up request. And the return type of this method that is a user DTO. Let's go to the auth service impl and here I'm going to implement the sign up user method. Inside the sign up user method in the auth service impl, I'm going to create here the object of the user. And here I'm going to set the email and we will get email from sign up request or get email. Second, I'm going to set here the name and we will get name from sign up request or get name. Third, I'm going to set here the password that is the form of a hash. So let me call here the method from the bigquery password encoder that is a encode. So here we need to pass the password. So we will get password from sign up request dot get password. And the last I'm going to set here the role. That is a user role dot employee. After that, I'm going to call here the user repository and the method that is a save to create the new user in the DB. So we need to pass here the object that is a user. And we need to return here the user DTO object. So let's go to the user entity. And here I'm going to create a method that is a get user DTO and the return type of this method that is a user DTO. Inside this method, I'm going to create here the object of the user DTO. So first of all, I'm going to set here the ID and we will get ID from the entity. Second, I'm going to set here the name and we need to pass here the name. Third, I'm going to set here the email and we need to pass here the email. Let's go to the user DTO and here I'm going to add the property for the user role. Let me call here user DTO and the setter that is a user role and we need to pass here the user role. After that, we need to return here the user DTO object. Let me create here the object of the user. This object will save the response of this method. So it will be a from user entity. And here I'm going to call this object that is a created user and the method that is a get user DTO. Let's go to the auth service. And here I'm going to create a new method and the return type of this method that is a Boolean. And name of the method that is a has user with email. In the argument, it will receive an email that is a type of a string. Let's go to the auth service impl and here I'm going to implement the method that is a has user with email. Inside the method, I'm going to call a method from the user repository that is a find first by email. Inside the argument, we need to pass here the email that we are getting in the argument of the method. So this is the implementation of the sign up user method where we are creating the new employee. And you can see here the second method that is a has user with email. It will return the Boolean value like true and false. After this, I'm going to create here the new package that is a controller. Inside the controller package, I'm going to create here the new sub package that is a auth. In the auth package, I'm going to create here the new class that is a auth controller. On the top, I'm going to add here the notation that is a at the rate rest controller. Second annotation I'm going to add here that is a at the rate request mapping. And here I'm going to define the path of our controller that is a slash API slash auth. And the third annotation I'm going to add here that is a at the rate required ARGS constructor. After this, inside the auth controller, I'm going to inject here the auth service. 
And here I'm going to create a method to call method from our all service impulse that is assigned up user. So it will be a public and the response entity over here and name of the method that is a sign up user. Inside the argument, we need to get the object of the sign up request. So let me add here the annotation that is at the rate request body. And here I'm going to get the object that is a sign up request. So first of all, I'm going to add here the if condition where we need to check if the user already exists with the email, then we need to return here the response that is a email already exists in the DB. So let me call here the method from the auth service that is a as user with email. And here we need to pass the email and the argument. If the user exists with the email, then I'm going to return here the response. And in the body, I'm going to pass here the string that is a if the user not exists with the provided email, then we need to call a method from the out service that is a sign up user. In the argument, we need to pass here the object that is a sign up request. And here I'm going to create an object of the user DTO that is a created user DTO. And here I'm going to add the if condition where we need to check if the created user is equal is equals to null, then we need to return here the response that is a user not created. If the created user DTO not is equals to null, then we need to return here the response that is a HTTP status dot created. And inside the body, I'm going to pass here the created user DTO object. On the top, I'm going to add here the notation that is a at the rate post mapping to access this endpoint and the URL of this endpoint that is a slash sign up. Let's run the Spring Boot application. You can see here our Spring Boot application started successfully. Let's go to the postman and here I'm going to add the URL of our sign up user endpoint. Mapping, I'm going to select here the post. And inside the body, I'm going to select here the JSON type. Let me add here the sign up request object. Let's click on the send button to create the new employee in the database. And you can see here the status of the API that is a 201 created. And you can see here the object that we are getting in the response of the API with the ID2 and the remaining details. Let's go to the database. Let me refresh the user's model. And you can see here the newly created employee with the role employee. And you can see here the password that is a form of a hash. And you can see here the name and the email. Let's go to the postman. Let me create the same employee again. And you can see the status of the API that is a 406 not acceptable. User already exists with this email. And you can see here the response of the API that is a user already exists with this email. Let's create another employee. Let's click on the send button. And you can see here the status of the API that is a 201 created with the response. Let's go to the database. Let me refresh the users table. And you can see here the newly created employee. Okay. That's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. And also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.